All right, can you get a sound check? Sure. Uh, hello, everyone, and welcome to the Vortex. Where right. lies? Is that good? good? All right. You know, this, this is going to be huge. This is going to be uh, unbelievable. This is going to, April 20th, we're just like a few weeks away. April 20th, it's going to be big. Niles. Today's Tuesday, April 14th, 2015. Here are latest church militant headlines. The Cardinal Archbishop of Westminster, England, says the cathedral in Mosul, Iraq, has been desecrated and converted into a mosque by ISIS. The prelate, while offering mass in Erbil, about 60 miles from Mosul, praised the Chaldean community there for helping thousands of people who had to flee their homes to avoid death. He's encouraging people to send more aid to the badly persecuted region. See our resource page for ways you can help. ABC Studios is producing a sitcom based on the life of gay activist Dan Savage. Conservative groups are protesting the show, citing Savage's, quote, over-the-top obscenity, radical hate speech, and his venomous anti-Christian bigotry. Thousands of postcards and phone calls have been made to ABC asking it to drop the show, but the company has so far failed to respond. To voice your complaint to ABC, see our resource page. A 14-year-old Christian boy was burnt alive by Muslims in Pakistan. The boy was beaten by a group of Muslims Friday when they found out he was Christian. They chased him, threw kerosene on him, and lit him on fire. He tried to put out the fire by rolling in sand while onlookers also helped. But he remains in critical condition, with more than half his body severely burned. Please pray for him and for his attackers. A New York court is forcing a cab driver to pay $15,000 because he told two women to stop kissing in his taxi. A judge ruled it discrimination last month and awarded each woman $5,000 for emotional distress, with another $5,000 going to the city of New York. The driver also has to complete an anti-discrimination class, which the women call, quote, the ultimate reward. The cabbie says he was distracted because the women were all over each other. A priest who went down on the Titanic may one day be declared a saint. A campaign for canonization has begun for Father Thomas Biles, who died in 1912 praying with passengers on the Titanic. The priest, who twice refused offers to get into a lifeboat, was called by Pope St. Pius X a martyr for the church. Although no miracles have been attributed to Father Biles so far, the faithful are encouraged to seek his intercession in the hopes he will answer and the cause can move forward. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about spiritual criminals. Remember to share our headlines with your friends. See us on Facebook and Twitter. And may God bless you.